Hey guys, what's up? This is Seven Stop. Oh shoot, we're recording. <laughs> I need to sit down. Ah! My old man legs can't do it anymore. Hey guys, what's up? This is Seven Stop One and Seven Stop Two, and today we're going to be talking about Twitter and just terrible social, social media, media sites. The cesspool like, of the humanity. Cess yeah, this is the cesspool of humanity, especially Twitter. Mm -hmm. Twitter is so bad. So we're going to start this out with a challenge. How far can I scroll down on Twitter until I find something like that's painful to read? So let's go. Um, that one's decent. Um, here we go. Let's, let's see. Um, it's kind of random. There it is. You're here a celebrity. Here we go. U.S. celebrities who signed on to defund the police. Remember their faces. Yeah, guys, remember their faces. Look, I love how it's like it's like a wanted poster of all these people. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so yeah, that hey, was look, really Fox quick. Fox News, the most balanced source of news <laughs> ever created. But yeah, basically, that's just Twitter. Like, yeah, that's could, just Twitter. You could just find those posts everywhere. So yeah, we're uh -huh. going to delve in and why. And you can't avoid it. That Here, yeah, we'll talk about why on Twitter. Because essentially, when someone likes or retweets something... That you follow. Oh, yeah, that you follow, it gets recommended to you. So like you, like a YouTuber that makes good videos... And you follow them on Twitter, and then you just see all this trash in your feed that they're like retweeting and liking or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like they're like like they're liking all these random celebrities' posts about we need to change and yeah. stuff like that, <laughs> and all these weird stuff. Which oh man, it, like I just kind of want to rant because like I don't want any structure of this video. I just want to rant. <laughs> Oh the epic gosh. rant. All right, yeah, know what? This is just going so to So Twitter, Twitter rant, rant. Twitter rant right now. All right, yeah, this is just a rant. Twitter so, is terrible. Yeah, so basically what happens is though that, yeah, you, you follow someone, and then they like a post from the celebrity or, like, some sort of famous person. But the thing is, tweets are, obviously, they're, they're supposed to be really small, like 250 <laughs> yeah. characters or something like that. So somebody condenses a really complex opinion and complex yeah. idea. You can't into express a nuanced argument in 250 mm -hmm. they, characters. They, like, con condense it and try They sound good. They're like, okay, I'm an, I hate the police and stuff <laughs> like that. All police are evil. We need to defund the police. Yeah, all, all police are evil and stuff like that. And, like, all the, because their opinions are so, like, smunched into, like, a small little opinion you think oh, okay that person stands for that but in reality there's like it's so much more complex yeah and just like people see this and then they're like oh x said it so i have to agree with it because i like x or whatever and mm -hmm. just and for some reason the most radical opinions are always the ones that get tons of traction on twitter mm -hmm. i think it's because a lot of people just read something super quick and they don't think about it and it looks cool on the surface so they just retweet it and then it like this stu super like crazy stuff gains tons of and they like retweets and stuff like that. Or and like Twitter people who are like, oh, every cop is evil. That's obviously wrong. Obviously, there's at least one. You can't say that. I mean, obviously, I think that most cops are good. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some bad cops that ruin the bunch. But um, you can't say that every cop is evil. But for some reason, people that say this get tons of traction on these social media sites. Even though that's obviously completely wrong, mm -hmm. and because of the whole like retweet system, where you when you could comment on people's posts and stuff like that, it uh -huh. makes it very easy to be able to reply. Oh and, yeah, like, start wars. Yeah, and, stuff and you, like that's that. another thing. Like just getting people on their throats. Like Twitter is designed so that people just fight, and it just makes it worse for everyone because people fight on Twitter, and then it becomes the news. And then King Star gets a hold of it. Yeah, and all King these Star, new, all these and it YouTubers. just blows up, and it makes all these people mad over nothing. And then you just get all this chaos, mm -hmm. and people join a side and yeah. join my side. Yeah, I'm join my side, join my group. You have to believe everything I say. And it's all because someone just said something that they didn't, uh -huh. they couldn't explain in detail because it's so short. And also, and like Twitter is very much, at least from like the side that I'm on. Is very much like anti-Trump and oh, stuff yeah. like that, and we're not really going to get super political. Like, yeah, but basically, but Twitter, what Twitter is, is very liberal. Yeah, basically, whereas con like Facebook, super conservative. Mm, depending on obviously which side and who you follow and stuff uh -huh. like that, but still, like what happens is that there's a great like video clip. Basically, what happens is Twitter and social media they like jumble up the stuff, and then yeah, whoever you follow, basically Twitter will be like, oh, you you follow this person, right? This person liked this post. You gotta agree with their political views. Look at how many <laughs> political yeah. posts they like. And it's like, oh, Trump sucks. Trump did this. Trump did that. Please, I want to hear about something else. I want to hear about Halo Three coming to PC. <laughs> yeah, and it's like we 
I don't like Trump. He's not that amazing. Yeah. But it's not like every single thing he ever he's, does or says is he, completely evil some, and yeah. wretched. He's done some great stuff. Yeah. Well, but as I said, we're not going to get too, too into it. But still, like, th- there's so many just, yeah, one-sided, faceless, bland arguments. Which, again, we'll get into this as well. Like, uh-huh. faceless. People can just be so rude because they don't associate a face or anything. They just, yeah. they just associate an account. And even if their name and face is associated with their account... It's just much easier to to like say like really hurtful stuff to someone even if like because it's online you don't have to say it in person it's just way easier mm-hmm. for that stuff to propagate you don't have to see their reactions or anything mm-hmm. like that but yeah basically what happens is yeah you don't have to observe the effects of your actions you could just be really angry towards someone and then yeah it'll spread throughout Twitter and you'll like everybody oh Trump 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 that Trump did this one thing and oh man I can't wait till these allegations come out against Trump and all this stuff happened and blah 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 and then yeah like some good YouTuber who who like uploads. Halo videos to YouTube or something like that could like all the posts and all the tweets about like oh this person sucks and then it's just filled and your feed is just constantly filled with what they liked and this person sucks and it and uh the reason why we're getting so angry about this and stuff like that is because uh it just isn't good for you it's it isn't like, good for it anyone. Good for I honestly anyone. think it's just bad for society as a whole. It's just the Twitter itself is bad, and it's just like being constantly in a state of anger and like, <laughs> yeah. oh, this needs that's to like, change. That's why the news is so bad because the news is designed to keep you in this constant state of rage so that you continue watching. It's just not good for you mm-hmm. if you have Twitter or Instagram or like something besides YouTube because <laughs> YouTube works because you don't see necessarily what exactly all they like. You mm-hmm. don't necessarily see all their subscriptions. YouTube forces people... When you subscribe to someone, you usually subscribe for a very specific kind of content. You know what you're getting, and you don't have to see, you don't have to see and hear garbage. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's get into some other social media platforms like Instagram. Woo. Oh, boy. Why is Instagram so bad? Because it's because, like Twitter. But... Because it's... No, it's not literally like Twitter. It's, it's similar in that like someone can post stupidity and then it gets really popular. But it's also it just encourages vanity and like people just oh, posting yeah, all lifestyle. these yeah like posting a picture of themselves next to like their neighbor's car and like look at how great my life is mm-hmm. this is totally my car or and whatever girls going to the mirror and photo like, oh yeah peace sign and stuff like that and then you go ahead and look the other back and, like, and there's like videos <laughs> around to show that they had a filter on it oh it hashtag no filter maybe it's just because we're like really jaded and hate teenagers and like hate the culture at least i do i just hate the teenage culture i do too even though i am one i hate it and whenever i see that stuff like just almost any instagram post when i see it it makes me cringe Mm -hmm. that's like actually cringy another thing about twitter and also just lots of social media that i absolutely hate this is probably one of the biggest reasons why all those political views and stuff like that suck is because yeah a they're condensed and b Half of them are basically just saying, we can do better, and we're doing something wrong. Like, half of them are just like, oh, America isn't wearing masks. Okay, tell us why we need to wear masks. Give us good, like, factual evidence instead of just saying, F you guys, wear masks. Which there is, which they could give, but don't. But don't. Like, there's so many things where it's like, oh, yeah, this sucks. This person sucks. America sucks. Oh, we're doing horrible as a country. We're doing horrible as a species. Uh-huh. Look at how okay, bad so we are. Okay, so how can we improve? Yeah. But that's a, that's a part of the issue as well, like... The 250 characters, all you can say is, oh, we suck. You mm-hmm. don't have a lot of room to provide nuance. There's, yeah, and, and this is just an Instagram also. Like, there's just so many, like, negative, like, just self deconstruction. <laughs> deconstruction. I'm just getting flustered because of how angry I am. Yeah. But um, it's so trash. It's so awful. And it's, like, crazy to believe. And, yeah, this is what we said earlier. We, we went to Twitter and we like we saw and we first got Twitter and Instagram and all that in the first place because either A, our friends had it or B, we wanted to see YouTube like updates. Like, yeah, because constantly people will be like, OK, um, I'm almost done with this one video. And then, yeah, you'll you'll get absorbed in all their like tweets and posts about like the evilness of Trump and all this. Other stuff. <laughs> right, now back to uh, Instagram. And yeah, on Instagram, it does have the same issue as Twitter in that like really stupid opinions can propagate. For example, like my friend, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not super well acquainted with him now, but apparently he posted um, that Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization and that George Floyd deserved to die. Like what? Yeah. How is that? Like there's just so much room for people to post this trash. 
and instantly get their <laughs> dopamine in their head. Yeah. Oh, likes. Like, oh my goodness, I got a like on my post. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I got a like on my post posing in front of the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> And I used to have Instagram, but then I, I like to use it to like see what all the people I went to middle school with were up to or whatever. But they but, they posted but that they stuff. Post, but yeah, I was like really horrified to find out that they were all posting this trash and all this these super vain photos and all this just meaningless stuff. And I was like, I was honestly like, what happened to these people? Mm-hmm. And so I deleted it because I was done. Yeah, and I, I just also got rid of Twitter. Like, if you, you may think, oh, it's really hard. And, like, because this happens a lot. What happens is when you delete something that gives you instant, like, oh, likes. Yeah, instant gratification. Stuff, like, instant gratification. You'll, like, what happens is you'll check, constantly check your phone and stuff like that. But you need to realize. Yeah, it's, that, it's like, an addiction. Yeah, but if you just, like, let go of Twitter and stuff like that, like me and Nico have, you'll realize you'll just be so much happier. Uh-huh. Like, and just, the like, same thing with Discord, even though I think Discord is good. I used to be, like... My life was controlled by Discord. On the servers and I, stuff. I had this meg- mega server with almost a thousand people I owned. And every day... A <laughs> thousand people you own? <laughs> yeah, I owned those people. But almost every day, it's like my whole life was controlled by these people. Because every ten minutes, I'd get a message from someone complaining. So I basically just... I just stopped replying to messages on there and ignored my server and... Basically ignored everyone because it was controlling my life. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't do anything without my phone because I had to reply to the people on Discord. Yeah, I only use my phone like in Discord now just to just to DM certain people and stuff like that mm-hmm. without like texting just because it's a little bit easier and stuff. Yeah. And but, texting is constantly breaking, at least for me. Texting constantly doesn't work right. Yeah, and for me the notifications are just a bit weird. And it's just Discord is a lot Discord easier to is use better. and stuff like that. But yeah, that's why like per, so, sure, it's good social media. There are some good things like yeah, I said. Like connecting that's with people use. and stuff. Yeah, that's all we use to like just send photos, memes, talk about stuff and mm-hmm. call call each other and stuff like that. But the thing is, I said, just don't if you just don't use Twitter or Instagram or if you just don't like use it uh for uh all the awful political stuff like that. And if you just use it for direct messages and if you just get off of there, you'll find you'll be so much happier yeah, and without all the political views. It's the stuff. same thing with uh, Facebook. Facebook is like Twitter, but for conservatives, at least from what I've seen. I'm sure there's alternate viewpoints on there, but for the most part, it seems like conservative Twitter because it's all this, all this like trash. It's the same thing like Sam said. It's designed to keep you in a constant state of anger at everyone all the liberals did yeah this. All like the, the, oh liberals did this liberals 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 and like oh the democrats this the democrats, the democrats, that. democrats. who cares not me and no we're not taking a side like, no, i mean my side is in the middle yeah exactly i hate That's, them both yeah i hate them both i'm in the middle and stuff like that and we're not trying to say oh yeah we completely dis- uh, disagree with twitter because trump is amazing or oh oh we completely disagree with facebook because trump is awful no we're just in yeah the but again like completely objectively wrong opinions can circulate on there like like oh masks do nothing that's not that's objectively wrong mm-hmm. masks prevent transmission to other people and so and, but stuff like that just spreads so easily and mm-hmm. people just believe anything it's so much more complicated than that like america be having the most cases it's so much more complicated than mm-hmm. just oh where i mask. think i do think it is a not mass but just people don't want to follow the social distancing they don't want to use masks and everyone, they want to go out and riot and get in these big groups and stuff. So, but yeah, we do think that. But the thing, they, it's they're, they're still, it's still a lot more complicated. And yeah, stuff like that, which is everything. But yeah, just please, just be happier. Just go, like, play a game or something yeah. like that. Just go. You don't go need go to be in the twenty-four game. hour cycle of rage. Yeah, like if you constantly check Twitter and stuff like that, just get rid of it. You'll be so happy. Uh-huh. Like once I got rid of Twitter, I felt so nice. Me like, too. Sometimes. Like, when I'm forced to not use my phone and just, like, Twitter and stuff like that, it felt like a weight fell off of me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have to be weighed down by that stuff. I could just hang out and do things at my own time. So, please, just don't use Twitter and all them. Just just have a good life. Be happy. <laughs> and Reddit as well. We should mention that Yeah, kind that of. Re- like, Reddit is, is definitely way better. Reddit is a great source for resources and just yeah. to talk to people that know about stuff. Like... Um, you can go on Reddit and learn yeah. and learn. Go things. on any subreddit and be like, "Oh, hey, I need help with this." Okay, yeah, no problem. And people Bam. are super helpful. It's way. It's not nearly as bad. But, but then, whenever like big political events happen, 
Where you know start people riot, it just turns into memes, and then the memes become like political. Poli- yeah, posts. they become political posts. Like Reddit is like the just like I saw this great video. It was basically like how Reddit handles justice. Oh, this person did something. Bam! Immediately post memes about hating and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that. cancel like, culture. Yeah, cancel culture. Ugh! Oh man, I hate the ca- cancel culture. Is basically Twitter. <laughs> Basically cancel culture Twitter. is the embodiment of everything we've been talking about in this video and yeah. why it's so trash. But yeah, so basically, what we're trying to say with this video is that Twitter sucks! <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm just so angry, but yeah. This just, is, this, uh, Twitter, I mean, we're like really angry and we're talking about the cycle of rage and being put in the cycle of rage, but it's not like we're, we're like, we're actually really mad or pissed off. It's just worth being funny and well, I, I am, mean I am but, mad at it, but it's not like I'm constantly not, yes, like I'm not oh my, constantly my life mad. is defined by my anger at these things. Mm-hmm. No, it's just like I said, just just don't use Twitter. What we're trying to say is that because of Twitter, this stuff like, makes people's lives this worse. This stuff people's makes people's lives worse. Like Twitter ruins like friendships, relationships, like yeah. the whole Keemstar and like H three H three thing. No, I don't even know thing. about it. But if I They're hear if I hear other. Keemstar's name, I just don't want to hear yeah, about but it. But like there's just like this huge beef with them and they're constantly posting tweets. You oh, got yeah, beef join my side, blah 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 and all this stuff like that. And uh-huh. it's like you'll get yourself wrapped up but just, just Oh yeah be and like happy and sexual and allegations allegations of sexual misconduct. It's like someone alleges it no proof yet. No more information. It's just an allegation on Twitter. Suddenly, like, four million people are like, no, we hate this person now because mm-hmm. they got alleged. It's like, come on. Yeah. Wait so for them to provide proof. Just, yeah, Twitter just destroys people's lives, so just don't use it. There's this <laughs> yeah. one thing called um, FOMO, which is something that you need to, like, it, it, which is something that a lot of people who use Twitter and stuff like to have, which is the fear of missing out. The fear uh, yeah. of missing out on certain posts on, oh, if I like, did I get the right amount of likes? And uh, did, did, did this person tweet this? I want to get an update on this and stuff like stuff like that. But when you realize that you just like, if you just set your phone down and stop using Twitter and all that and just walk away and do what you want, go read a book, play a game or something like that, you'll just be so much happier. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> well, this. in conclusion to this epic rage video, we are um, we we hate Twitter. That's basically the, That's the basically conclusion it. of this don't video. Use it. Don't Just use don't, don't use these You'll garbage so social media happier. platforms. It will make your life better if you delete this stuff off your phone. And we're not one of those boomers that is like, oh, the social media. We're like regular people. We're we're teenagers. We, use, we said we use that right. Stuff. We used to use this stuff. And we've seen what it does to you. And we've seen, like, so many people who post, like, uh, like the reason why people, and maybe not the reason why, but still, like, a lot of people are really depressed and stuff like that. But the thing is, they use those, like, social media outlets maybe as, like, a way to vent. But in reality, you should be, like, yeah. seeking out help and stuff like that. <laughs> a lot that. of the time that venting is just, like, a way to make yourself more angry. Mm-hmm. There's a di- yeah. There's a difference between venting and like again making yourself in this cycle because people are constantly all the time are just like oh I'm depressed and stuff like that on like Twitter and uh-huh. stuff like that and it's like instead of like saying oh I'm depressed maybe and sure vent your yeah vent wallowing your opinions, in your own pity but go talk to someone go talk to a family member or like call a help health line or something like that just talk to someone you'll feel so much better than raging about it online talking to people in person is so much better than doing uh-huh. it online still. <sighs> rage over. Let's end the video before Thank I Thank you for more. watching this video. Please consider our argument. Leave in the comments what you thought of it. I there, hope you enjoyed. There's also well, there's also this really funny donkey video about Twitter. Have you seen it? <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen it's it. It's so great. funny. Basically, he puts on a, 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 a like he shows. This is basically the exact reason why Twitter is bad. He puts out like a post and like he reads the comments <laughs> of the post and he's just like all the comments are just hate, 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 hate stuff like that. There's no like helpfulness or anything but still end the video before i continue (laughs) anyway guys great video i think i don't know it's just like a mindless rant anyway bye guys thank you for watching the video bye